Hey, Pussino Pussino, that's another video. Um, I got a subscriber that uh, asked me if uh, the bag that I use for search and rescue um, could be used for um, tracking. So, like when you go hiking for long days. So, I just came back, and so my bag is still due. And uh, so, basically, what I would carry usually, I would try to put it in there and see what it comes up. So, uh, stay tuned and we'll see. So I got out what uh, I would need like if I would go for a few days uh, to put over there. Uh, keep in mind that my sleeping bag is a little bit on the bigger side. Uh, so we'll try to see at first view it doesn't look like it's going to fit in there. But you never know with compression and everything. Uh, we'll try. So we'll try to fit those uh, items in there. Okay, so as I was thinking, it uh, doesn't fit much, but uh, it would be feasible depending on. So, right now, let's see if I can get better light here. Uh, so, basically, this is all the clothes I carry, but it would be about the size of a normal sleeping bag, uh, not a winter one. But uh, so, if a sleeping bag could fit in there. Uh, I got my water purification and my uh, my stove. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I got my mattress here. But, uh, I mean, that could come out. And a uh, regular blue mattress would be over here, leaving enough space. Um, as you can see, it kind of leaves us out of space right over here. Uh, so, I could... Uh, so imagine this would be slipping back. That means I could have enough space for extra extra clothes. Um, obviously enough space for food. Um, um, and uh, for tent though, uh, I mean the tent could be put over here and we'll try that. Uh, but probably at that point uh, a little bivouac like uh, the uh, Union Shelter BB. So it's about that size. So basically, I can sleep one person here. The backpack can go in, especially if you go by uh, by yourself and stuff. Um, it could be done. Um, kind of surprised actually, but uh, not for like winter stuff or everything. Cause uh, this is a uh, minus 15. I didn't even try, cause uh, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna take a, Well, let's let's try. Uh, so I'll pull that out and try that. Okay, so now this is with the winter sleeping bag in it. Uh, we lost all the space we had in the back there. Uh, but I mean, I can still have enough space for like uh, a pair of pants and maybe a jacket in here. Because I mean, uh, as you can see, there's uh, still quite a, quite a lot of space here plus food. Obviously my food is not there, but um, yeah, you would have it to be limited. Uh, I think you could still put your bla water bladder, so water bladder kind of goes over here, and the pocket over here. Uh, this pocket is, I consider that like for the first aid kit, but I mean you still have, as you can see, I mean, you could still put some clothes in there uh, and use, because I mean, it, it still has some, some space there, so you could actually still put some clothes there. Uh, and now we'll uh, try to put the, the tent here, but if I would take that backpack, because obviously those backpacks are not made for uh, heavy carry, right? Uh, for example, I'll show you the difference here. So if you look at this backpack, you know like how the padding and everything, and this one over here, but this one is not made for heavy uh, carry just like this one is uh, this one is made for be this is 65 liters and stuff so uh, obviously this one is still pretty good and everything but uh, uh, you could get a little bit of, of issue uh, like for example if you look at how thin the uh, here to this actually here, actually it's right here. Uh, if you can no problem with the light here. So you see the difference. This is the one here, right over there. But again, those bags are not made to carry 
uh, for two or three days in a long time, you know. Uh, they're made to carry uh, what they're made for, so they're made for search and rescue and stuff like that. Uh, but it could be used, but it's just like, I think, uh, yeah, uh, it could be. So let's try to put the tent in this. So the tent works uh, perfectly. So this bag, uh, again, intended for a search and rescue, ski patroller and stuff like that. Uh, so the rack that they put in the back here is uh, for like uh, snowboard and stuff. So obviously awesome, awesome attachment. Um, but uh, I just want to show the profile. So basically that would be the kind of, oops, that would be about like what the bag looks like. Um, so. I feel that I think there would be a lot of kind of pulling back and again not made for uh, for for that but uh, could be used uh, and a pull there again this this uh, tent is a four season one so I think for a summer long term uh, like a two or three days hiking um, not expecting like a lot of heavy um, weather and stuff uh, with a three season tent over here which would be less heavy and less bulky as well and uh, sleeping bag that wouldn't be uh, as bulky as the one that is there in there uh, it could work but uh, if I would be going with this system I think uh, beefy bag would be but then you're going by yourself right so uh, but with two people again and now that that means that you don't need to carry uh, one, for example, you could carry the stove and the food and everything, and the other person could carry the tent, or you could carry one part of the tent and stuff like that. Uh, so, um, so yeah, uh, but usually I go by myself, so I, it's just to uh, show like could could I go with what I bring for this weekend. So I literally took what I had in my backpack and I kind of put it over there. So, so I hope it answer your question. If you have any questions. Uh, any push no push net for any uh, topics and stuff uh, don't hesitate to tell to uh